What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel, whatever it is. You are welcome here, dude. How are you? Today, I just want to talk about how to really, truly, seriously, <laughs> how to really, really, really get slim thick. How to really be out here breaking necks, turning heads, okay? So I wrote some notes down because I, my mind is always everywhere. So I get a lot of comments of girls saying, I want to lose my stomach, but I also want to gain weight in my lower body. How do I do that? Like I'm eating, I'm working out, but most of the weight is going to my stomach. What is good? First things first. You can't be scared of gaining weight. If your goal is to gain weight, your goal is to have a slim, thick figure, and you're skinny, then you can't be scared of gaining weight. If you already have a decent amount of weight on you, I feel like most women who want to gain weight are already like at the perfect weight. They just need to do like a body recomp, which I'm gonna get into. There's a lot of guys and girls who don't have to gain weight they just have to change the place that the weight is in you feel me if you feel like you're really skinny like you don't have a lot of extra meat on your bones and you don't have a pudgy stomach like you are skinny you're bony then don't you can't be scared of gaining weight that's the only way you are going to fill your body out the way you want and that's the only way you're going to gain curves is by eating in a calorie surplus and gaining weight. If you are somebody who already weighs like 130 pounds, then what you need to do is clean up your diet and be consistent with weight training. Weight training will help you change your body completely and you will still be the same weight that is called body recomp you're eating at your calorie maintenance but you cleaned up your diet and you're training hard like super hard and you could literally change your body completely that way if you're somebody who has a bigger upper body and a smaller lower body you could turn that whole thing around by focusing mostly on your lower body and like focusing on progressive overload which will help you build volume and help you you know build that muscle to gain weight without having to eat extra calories because eating extra calories is just going to make you gain weight everywhere and if you carry most of your weight in your upper body then most of the weight you're gonna gain is gonna be in your upper body like eating extra calories will not change where you gain weight calories in and out i kind of touched on that which is basically like what i said um everybody doesn't need to be eating in a surplus you ha you have to be like really real with yourself and you have to really be honest with where you're starting. So if you have extra fat on you, on your stomach and stuff, you don't need to eat in a surplus. What you need to do is stay eating in your maintenance, which you could find a calorie tracker online. Most women's maintenance is like around 2,200 calories, but use that calorie tracker online. So you could get the exact number because it'll ask you like how much do you weigh and how tall are you, what's your height and all of that stuff. So you could get an exact number of what's your maintenance, what's your surplus and what is your, what's the one when you're losing weight? And what is your deficit? If you don't have extra weight on you and you're not scared of gaining weight, then eat in a surplus. If you're scared right now, then eat at your maintenance or eat like a hundred more calories than your maintenance and train consistently. And if you feel like you're not seeing results quick enough, then you can up your calories more. Or like, let's say 
you're eating in a surplus and you feel like you're gaining too much weight, you can always just cut your calories and lose the weight. Like, don't be scared of gaining weight because it's not going to stay on you. If you are training, if you are working out consistently and you don't get like lazy with yourself and with eating and stuff, then don't be scared of gaining weight. You're just going to lose it. And if you are already skinny, then losing weight, like getting your body back to where you started is really easy. Because if you are skinny, if you are already a skinny person, then your body naturally wants to be skinny. Like, I've always been a very petite person. And that's why I have to force myself to eat. Because my body doesn't want to eat as much as I make it, like at all. My body could literally go days without eating, but I'm trying to do something to my body that my body naturally doesn't wanna do, and I'm aware of that. So I understand it takes a little longer for me to gain the weight, and when I do gain the weight, it's really, really easy for me to lose it because I could easily forget about eating. And then like a week goes by and I'm like, oh crap, I didn't eat too much this week and now I lost 30 pounds. You have to really learn your body. I've said in my past videos, this is not a one size fits all. You really, really, really have to learn what works for you. Everybody doesn't have to eat in a surplus to get the body that they want. Some people have to, some people have to cut down because they have the weight that they need, now it's just about changing the places that it's in, you know, like, you have to be honest with yourself, you cannot be following anybody. My best advice to you is to do as much research as possible, to watch as many videos as possible, and to do it. Get your ass up, go work out, whether it's at the gym, outside, whatever it is, Apply the things that you learn and you're gonna see what your body likes, what your body responds to, and what doesn't work for your body. Another really important thing is staying hydrated because when you are not hydrated, you're going to be super bloated. So you might think that you eating in a surplus is making you really bloated, which it is, it does play a part in it, but being dehydrated will also make you super bloated. And also when you are eating in a surplus, you need to make sure you are drinking enough water because since you're eating all that food, you have to like make that food go down. You know, let's say if you're eating three times a day, you should be pooping three times a day because if you're not pooping as much as you eat, then you have a lot of extra buildup in you and that's gonna cause your stomach to look huge this whole time you're thinking like it's you eating in a surplus and you're like stressing about dang why does my body not look good why what's wrong with this what's wrong with that and the whole time it's because you're not pooping enough <laughs> you have to be pooping as much as you eat in a day your goal is to gain in your lower body. You, you see that you're eating enough, now all you have to do is make sure you are training enough. You're shadowed. Now you just have to make sure you are training enough, okay? So you should be training your lower body at minimum three times a week, bro. Three times a week, minimum. So that's the least amount. If you could squeeze in a fourth day, do it. And last but not least, consistency. Of course, you guys already know, nothing is gonna work out unless you are being consistent. If you aren't doing something that will help you towards your goal every day, then you're not gonna get there. You gotta be consistent with your eating. You have to be consistent with your training. Make sure you're not comparing yourself. Cause like I was saying earlier, like everyone's body is different. Everyone's genetics are different. There's some people who could gain weight really, really fast and they see results super fast and that might like discourage you, but always remember to stay in your lane and to just trust your process. 
as long as you are doing something every day towards your goal then you are moving up you are getting closer to it what anyone else is doing has nothing to do with you so just keep that in mind yo. and yeah thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you guys next time if you have any questions or you want me to talk about something you want a video about something just let me know make sure you follow me on instagram i know i've been super inactive on youtube but i am always active on instagram like a little too active on instagram <laughs> but yeah i will see you guys next time.